project we did Donald J. Trump. For starters, we did our three papers on um, Donald Trump's veteran affairs, um, his health care policy, and um, immigration reform. So Donald Trump is known as a quote unquote businessman. <laughs> but most of his businesses have gone bankrupt. Um, Donald Trump has owned several um, businesses such as um, four different hotels, uh, the Trump Taj Mahal, Trump Castle Associates, Trump Hotel and Casino Resorts, tr and um, Trump Entertainment Resorts. They all went bankrupt, bankrupt from United States. He also, we did a little research on Donald Trump, and he also had a game called um, Trump the Game, right? It was kind of like Monopoly, and that went out, like that went, um, that went out quick. And it's like, how can you play a game? Like, that's pretty simple, and you didn't get a lot of business on that game, let alone can't run a casino, but you're trying to run the United States. That's just like, you know, ridiculous. And, um, yeah, so, yeah, it's called Trump, the Trump Collection. Right, and um, it's odd that he told the prophet before that he doesn't like Mexico, uh, that we need to stop outsourcing because, you know, the things that we're getting from China and Mexico is like falling apart, but that's where most of his clothes come from, China, Mexico, and Bangladesh, so it's kind of like ironic said that we need to stop outsourcing and give those jobs to the people in America, but he's not even following his own advice. Yeah, so um, speaking on Donald Trump and his health care policy, um, Donald Trump is trying to, um, his health care policy consists of him wanting to bring um, drugs into stores and make them uh, less cheaper for less cheaper for the citizens in the United States, and he also is trying to, um, he stated that he wants to, uh, bring back, he wants to bring HSA, which is Health Savings Account. HSA, HSA has been out for over 10 years now, and he's trying to put on his front as if he's trying to start something that's already been started, um, as well as his health care policy, like, he's trying to bring back cheaper drugs for people. Yeah, that's good and all, but... Um, that looks like that's the next thing that's close to failing as well. Um, uh, going back when I was talking about Mexico, um, his views on Mexican people are very bigoted, I guess you could say. He believes that Mexican people should pay for the wall, the same Mexican people that's making his clothing. He thinks that they should pay for the wall. And Mexico is <laughs> immigration when it's kind of weird because Canadian people are like the number one immigrants in America, not Mexican people. And he has nothing to say about, you know, about that. Um, if he was, if he was to build this wall, that would like, it would, it would start some controversy with the NAFTA, the North American Free Trade Agreement between Mexico and the United States. So it would make for produce to increase amount of money. Yeah, like what Jazz is saying, basically like right now you can get cucumbers for 30 cents. Just imagine cucumbers being thirty dollars like it's like a like all that because Donald Trump is trying to it's like people think that he's trying to bring better and he's not. Like when you do at the after you do your research on what he's trying to do and all his policies and his um with his plans, it's like it's really a big another big failure. Um and that's basically what we're trying to say in this, our message that we're trying to get across. Like, Donald Trump is not um, what he say he is. Like, he's a hypocrite. 
and basically like he says things he says things to make him look beautiful in words but when um but his words is not thoroughly written out and he don't have a a, a plan like his plans don't even make sense half the time um why you look so serious my nose is so yeah um Another thing that speaks about his character is the fact that he encourages his supporters to fight at his rallies. So, it's like, what kind of president is that? Condoning violence. Like, how are you gonna, how you wanna be the face of the United States, but condoning violence? And that's one of our main issues in the United States, violence. Um, I'm sorry to interrupt. But he made this um, this statement at his rally in Chicago when the students protested against um, against him. He was like, "I want quote unquote, I want to I want to punch the protesters in the face," and it just was like it was like shocking to hear a presidential candidate, someone that's running to be the next president of the United States say something like that like how you want how you want to say that not only did you say it but you said it with like such anger <laughs> and it's like um you have to you're responsible for your words and it's like your words is all you have so now that you he, him saying that and um it's been it being reported it just looks bad because it's like now you you make me feel like um this, you're trying to run to be the next president, but you're condoning, you're condoning violence as well as putting it out there. Right. He's, not only is he like a violent, you know, person, but he is against like Black Lives Matter. He disagreed and laughed and took the mic because there was like two women on the stage. I guess they wanted to talk about Black Lives Matter. So he um, took the mic from them and he said, I don't know if I'll do the fighting myself or if other people will. So he already knows that his his uh, supporters like support violence as well. Another thing that he has said that was um, shows like his character again was when he has said that we need to uh, shut down the most in the country. So it's like he doesn't like Black Lives Matter. He He's like racist. Matter. He doesn't like. Uh, he's Islamophobic, and that's like that's not religion. That's not even like a race of people. But we know what he was talking about when he says we can't let them into the country. Like we know he's talking about brown people. So it's just like, how is this man like? Uh, he's a, he's supposed to be president. They have lots. They deal with lots of foreign policies. So it's like, how is he going to be able to get along with people in different countries and respect their culture and respect them if he doesn't even like these type of people in America? And that's a big question, like how, just how. But that wraps up our presentation or our video presentation about Donald Trump. Before we end, I just want to say, just think about it. If this man can't run a casino, he can't run a, um, he can't successfully run an airport. Conclusion, my partner and I agree that Donald Trump is not someone that you would want as president. For one, he can't even you know, manage his own companies. Many of his companies have gone bankrupt too. He contradicts himself saying that we shouldn't outsource, but for his clothing line, that's where his clothing is coming from, Mexico and China. And three, he's shown his character to us many different ways. He's shown that how he's bigoted, he's racist, and he's like xenophobic. So those are all the things that you wouldn't want in a president. Like I said, especially if you have to deal with foreign policies and going to different countries for certain treaties or whatever, that's not what you would want your president to be like. So one last thing I would like to say before we conclude is that a lot of people don't know that before you can become president, you have to actually become president. <laughs> Basically, like, what I'm trying to say is, like, for example, Trump. He talks a good game. He says a lot of beautiful things. But all in all, 
we the people know that um it sounds hypocritical it sounds like he's just saying things just to say it it's not a thorough plan it's not thoroughly written written and um a lot of people don't know a lot of people just go off of what they hear and um it's not a it's it's not about the message that the that the that president that presidential candidate is saying it's all about what he does after he's president of the United States. So here's the thing. You don't get to be president by winning. <laughs> you don't get to be president by winning the national prevalence challenge. If that was the case, Al Gore would have been president, not George W. Bush. You get to be president with 270 electoral college votes or more. Furthermore, Trump and views of information is inside of striking and separation of the benchmark taken into account. Thank you. Des.